Now, I'm not sure why, but I feel restless for some reason. We managed to steal Shido's heart, but the reactions have been less than ideal. Yes, it has been quite difficult to relax. I wonder if people will be disappointed to find out what his true, what his true nature really is. It might be more than just plain old disappointment. Either way, it's better than, than to let him keep deceiving people. Uh, I think I read Ryuji's sentence totally wrong, but even if his true nature becomes widely known, I wonder what results this election will bring. There really aren't many great politicians running, but anyone would be better than Shido. Anyways, let's wait for him to have the change of heart. We can talk more after that. And today, we're going to actually go in and hang out with her. Let's go hang out with Chihaya and get ready to go to Ma go to Mementos for like 10 minutes. Because that is really how it's going to go down. The chairman's pushing me as hard as ever to sell those fake stones. I've been trying to use this as an opportunity to investigate into the ADP seminar so I can expose him. But the deeper I dig, the scarier everything becomes. The ADP apparently doesn't profit very much from sales of the Holy Stones. It's nothing more than a front. Most of, this, most of their revenue actually comes from the seminars. There, they give their patrons some sort of mind-altering drug? What the hell? After which, they, they're encouraged to donate their life savings to the benefit of the ADP. People have gone missing after their seminars. Families have been torn apart by this madness. Yeah, this sounds... <sighs> That sounds really, really not good. I was part of it all. By selling these fraudulent stones, I was in direct support of their horrible actions. I know this doesn't make up for what I've done, but I want to keep the other. I want to help the others come to their senses. Barely anyone within the ADP will talk to me, though, and those who who do won't actually hear me out. What should I do, Kirisu-san? These people are all heading down a path toward great ruin. There has to be some way I can deal with the chairman. Right. I'll just have to admit to everything that's been going on, even if I get dragged down too. That's the only way. It looks like Chiaya is not sure how to approach this issue. She might do something rash at this rate. I should take care of the chairman before that happens. Mm. I'm the only one who can stop him, right? Mm. The chairman? Yuichiya Fukurai. Um, Why do you ask? <sighs> oh. How strange. It seems the cards have changed somehow. My future is in line with that of the trickster. What does that mean? Even so, my fate remains unchanged. I am destined to stay a monster. Um, I need to take... Yep. So, so here's another one. Hell yeah, I'm lining them up. Okay, so... Night. We're going to have to go into Mementos whenever we can't hang out with Futaba or Haru. That, that'll have to be the plan here. The special on the Phantom Thieves incident was cancelled. I heard Akechikun would be on it too. I heard it was to avoid causing confusion about the election. They should ignore pranks like that. They said all those awful things to make Shido-san look bad, but it actually makes me want to support him more. The more skilled you are, the more enemies you have. I want to see him at absolve those rumors for good. Damn it. I can't believe they're still saying crap like that. It's like they're brainwashed or something. When I think about how he used us, damn it, it pisses me right the hell off. Well, it'll be fine. Soon he'll spill his guts, and then everyone will know that we're right. Just wait and see. I just gotta grit my teeth until then. Hell yeah, Ryuji. Me too, while hiding in secrecy. Because that's how it be. Alright, Haru. Nice, we're ready for that rank up. That's what I like to see. So no mementos yet, but it'll come. It will come. But not right now. See what Haru wants to talk about. Sorry, I was getting yet another drink of the Bep. So I bought a mini roaster and a coffee mill the other day. And I thought it would be fun making coffee myself. 
It's certainly not easy, but it's an immensely satisfying process. Sorry about that. I just got a little dizzy for a second there. Yeah, I don't know what what was going on. Oh, uh, it don't overwork yourself. I'm fine, honestly. Um. Next up is uh, dirt for the planners. Uh oh. I'm sorry. I think I just need to rest a little. Um. To be honest, I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. Takakura-san has been really pushing for us to start a new business venture soon. In particular, he's adamant about a chain of low-cost, intimate cafes. Some employees don't think it's a good idea, though, so they want me to step in and put a stop to it. But I'm just a high schooler. But... There's no way I could predict the success or failure of this idea. In the end, I'm just not sure what to do. Hmm. Yeah, what do you want to do? That's a good question. That idea does sound nice. The smell of a fresh cup of coffee always brings a smile to my face. And it certainly would be nice to be able to give that experience to as many people as possible. But I don't think you can truly gain the same joy from the low-cost chain Takakura-san is suggesting. Hmm. Yeah, you should tell him that. Excuse huh? me? You really think he'd listen to a high schooler with no prior work experience? I see. Um. I've been so afraid of him this whole time, but all I need to do is, is show him how I feel. I'll make him see what I'm really thinking. And what's truly important to me. Yes. I understand. By refusing to trust Takakura-san, I was also shutting myself off from any hope of having him trust me. But that's going to be different now. I'll do my best. Hell yeah. It's really easy to rank her to rank up her confidant, I swear. And her story is kind of interesting when you think about it. Alright. I didn't think so the first time, but definitely oh. the second time through, absolutely. A magic item that will help me convey my true feelings to Takakura-san. <laughs> now it's gonna take some time to prepare though, so it will have to be my secret for now. But I'll tell you next time, okay? First for me, I guess. Know? Man, we are we are just progressing through the days at a at a slow ass pace. I just noticed the uh, that it's only December fifth. You helped me realize something important. Thank you so much for today. It's thanks to your support that I can keep pushing forward. Excuse me. I'll always have your back. Sure, that sounds good. And let's uh, let's get out of here. We're already ready to rank up. I'm not really worried. My dog is moving in the background, and it uh, scared me there for a second. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Okay, what are we doing to do tonight? Because we can hang out with Oya. We can rank up with her. Oh, no, actually, Hifumi. Hifumi is who we need to rank up with. So... Master Curry? Yes. What do you want to do? Kawakami. Yep. Make sure you close up. And now we can hang out with uh, Hifumi, and we will be super, super close to finishing that confidant. I'm actually kind of hyped. Good evening. Because like you get something really good from her that I really, really wanted for the uh, for the Shido fight, but I didn't really need Thank to use are. it. I think I was uh, doing pretty good. Oh, she's gonna go into her uh, into her match. She's got this shit. And we get confidant points before it actually, like, yes. before the scenario even starts. You won't be able to go inside the match room, but you can watch over the internet if you'd like. All right. Well, good luck. I think she actually loses this. It's an online broadcast of the match. The announcers are commentating on the gameplay. Like, we, we have the sad music right now. I think she loses here. Is this the end of the road for the phony princess? She's getting pushed back quite a bit. It's only a matter of time now. Hifumi is biting her lip. She doesn't seem to be doing so well. That was a masterful play. Perhaps her skills are the genuine article. Well, that's not good. The next move will surely result in checkmate. Hifumi looks troubled as she's being pushed around the board. She hasn't made a move. 
I'm thinking phony princess real defeat as the headline for our next article. I concede. I was utterly destroyed out there. It was as if an ant had challenged an elephant. A shogi player should know their limits. That was the first time I have ever forfeited a match. I was so ashamed of myself, I didn't want to hurt the pieces any longer. Uh, a very... A very queenly decision, yeah. You remembered. One must concede defeat with grace, maintaining dignity until the very end as a queen should. But I confess I am confused. I mean, naturally I am disappointed that I lost, but I still feel happy as if a demon has been purged from me. The moment I realized that victory was impossible, I felt a strange peace. What's important is what I do from this point on. I played so disgracefully in front of you. Perhaps you can just view it as an example of what not to do. And understand that there are times which require one to forfeit with valor and grace. Yeah, but never me in the metaverse. You'll never see me do that. Decreases turn delay to zero, allowing... Oh, okay. All right. That's helpful when I really want to dip the fuck out. Which, um... most of the time, will never happen. Let's make today your last lesson. Spending time with me has only brought you pain. Even me is thinking hard. I should be careful about... Oh, okay, yeah. I want to become stronger. I want to stay by your side. Okay, this top one. The things you say sometimes. Perhaps I should take a lesson from that ambitious nature of yours. <laughs> is, if that is what you wish, then prepare yourself. Your training will be quite intensive. There may be things I can learn from you as well. I suppose this is a friendly rivalry for the both of us, and irreplaceable sh as irreplaceable shogi friends, excuse me. Let's go home. But this won't replace my rivalry with the boy toy who I hold in my heart. That's all I'm saying. About how things would have been if I'd been playing, or if I kept playing shogi according to my mother's strategy, I could have enjoyed a, a, a transient empty success. But when I looked two, three moves ahead, I saw myself in incessant hell playing with a uh, perigordial or gorchial, a fucking in between something shogi, unable to ever. God damn her fucking language. Boy toy. Uh, a catchy. Uh, a catchy. Rest in peace. I probably would have uh, ended up hating shogi, perhaps even given up on life. That's why I can say with certainty. Today's loss was not a setback, but a glorious step forward. Uh, yeah. 100% on that one, dog. We're not ready to rank up, so, uh, I gotta go visit this totally real, never scammed me before fortune teller. Hi! Jamie, how could you forget that the boy toy is none other than Akechi? Or at least he's the boy toy to me. This campaign season's really heating up. Are they going to allow this election to continue? They have to. We can't just not have a prime minister. I'm fine with Masayoshi Shido. Not like we have any other options. Oh, I never mentioned it. I think I mentioned it in the last session, but I don't know if you were listening. Or if you were there yet. I guess I'll vote for Shido-san too. Never, never vote for somebody because everybody else is voting for them. Vote for somebody based on like what you think is right. You think Shido-san's gonna become the Prime Minister at this rate? With Akechi-kun and Shido-san, it feels like some heroes have been born this year. Well, That's right, the turning we point of any era is when, a, is when a hero is born. They address everyone's fears and worries and skillfully carry out a revolution. Representative Shido is like that, don't you think? A hero, huh? Don't make me laugh. This is getting really bad. We need to make everyone realize it. I thought, I thought we did as, I thought we were done with that though. There's not much else we can do. Oh, Shinya. I ain't visiting you. I'm gonna visit Haru. After I visit the fortune teller. What do you think? Okay, hopefully that helped out. And, nope, not there. Let's go hang out with Haru. I think we'll be maxing out her confidant. Oh wait, what the fuck? 
No, that's not at all what I wanted to do. God damn it. I didn't realize that Makoto was an option right now. Um, yeah, I think Haru is going to be who we rank up with first. Not Futaba. Since we kind of have to go to Mementos hey. for that. Thank you. Alright, let's, uh, yep, let's talk it up. Before my throat gets really raw. Hey. Do you remember the magic item I mentioned before? The thing that will help me show Takakura-san how I really feel is right here. Uh, this beetle? The soil. <laughs> Correct. To be honest. The soil here is a special mix I made with a few different kinds of fertilizer. It's very high quality. It's soft, it's warm, it has good drainage, and it's full of nutrients. This is the magic I need. I'm not very good at expressing myself with words. Just thinking about it makes my heart race. But I've been pouring my heart and soul into the soil for months now. Excuse me. It knows exactly how I feel. Um. That's why I'm going to use it to grow my coffee plants. Then once they're ready, I'm going to make coffee with the beans. It shouldn't be much longer now. Honestly, just raising those plants has taken considerable effort. I've checked on them every day, given them water, put them in the sun. But all that love and care has found its way into the beans itself. Combining that with the, nu the nurturing warmth of the soil should give me the perfect way to convey how I feel. I wonder what Takakura-san will think when he tries it. It'll help him understand you, he's gonna love it, he might not- We'll go with this top one. Yes. Cause I'm- I'm following along, I know what's going on here. It's strange, only recently I was struggling to find belief in anything. By the way, I've thought about it some more and I won't necessarily be opposed to Takakura-san's idea. If that's what management decides to do, I won't get in their way. At the same time, I can't support them if their main goal is to deceive. What I mean is, people don't think of Okumura Foods very highly right now. So I'm afraid management is trying to use this new chain to sneak under the radar rather than rebuild our image. Now, of course, I understand how hard it is to get or to rid yourself of a negative label. But yeah, we uh, deal with it personally. But if they want to fool people with a low quality product instead of regaining their trust, I will proudly oppose them. Uh, yeah, you're amazing. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, naturally, I'm a heroine of justice after all. Just kidding. You know, Akira-kun, it's so reassuring having you here. And it's because of you that I was able to cultivate this soil. And because of you that I have the courage to tell Takakura-san how I feel. Um. Speaking of which, uh, do you think you could be there when I do it? As long as you're with me, I won't be afraid to say what I'm thinking. The next confidant's really gonna tear me up. The next scenario, I mean. All right. You'll see what I mean. I say with a big ass grin on my face. I need to take some of the soil home to my coffee plants. Could you carry a bag for me? With our big anime arms. We'll have our stand help. Thank you for giving me a hand today. I'm already testing the soil I brought home today. I can tell my coffee plants are happy. Uh, it's in your nature to, to nurture. Yeah. I suppose it's simply in my nature to nurture nature. A fair turn of phrase. All that's left is for me to muster up the courage and express my own opinion. I'll contact Takakura-san and I'll make sure it works with your schedule. I hope my magic item will work on Takakura-san. I'm going to do everything I can, so I hope you'll see it through with me. I'm sure it'll be good. Damn, this is really just a, a better experience than I remember it being in my first playthrough. Uh, you're Going back. through her story, maybe like actually reading it and being, you know, interested in it. The election battle has reached the halfway point. The polls for each election ward have remained the same, though. Does this mean Shida's victory is guaranteed? That would be the case. I wonder if voting will shift as Shido has a change of heart. 
Nobody will vote for him once they find out he's a criminal. Assuming they find out before they vote. And that's the important part. We would prefer him to announce his crimes before the election. But if the change of heart doesn't make it, the election will just go as expected. Yeah, I'm sure it'll happen beforehand. All we can do is change his heart. Wait, all we can do- Yeah, well, we, we did change his heart. We're just waiting for him to, like, confess, right? We're waiting for the, the big event. Kifumi does not want to hang out with me tonight. I, I guess we can hang out with Oya. I don't want to go get the right confidant for that. I really don't. I don't really even want to hang out with her, to be honest, but... Oh, honey. I don't even come here a lot. I really don't. Hmm. I don't even know what the story is here. I'm completely out of the loop. Well then. I'm also really, like, dying right now. Oh? So that ace detective is serious, huh? I see. There's something I need to apologize to you about. You know, it's part of my job to research particular things. I ended up finding about your criminal record. I realized you weren't just some ordinary kid back with my chief. So I did some digging out of curiosity and I found a ton more than I was expecting. Sorry. That's eh, all good. I have to say though, the ruling made in your case was really odd. Some kind of deal must have gone down behind the scenes to make sure that was the end result. That must have been tough for you to handle. You're just a kid. <laughs> well, just forget about the past. We're in the same boat when it comes to being labeled. Uh... Because of your investigation? Yeah, sure. Whoops. Bonachan, refill. Yeah, she was, she was speaking some plot. You can't go rooting around in the kid's past and expect them to... Or expect to keep your own secrets hidden. Uh, don't blame me for that. It doesn't have anything to do with my private business. I mean, it's not like I don't trust you. And hold on a sec. Why am I getting treated like the bad guy? Look, you're gonna feel way better talking to someone who understands exactly what you're going through. Besides, you'll explode if you keep all that alcohol-fueled anxiety bottled up in you. Now well, that's true. And I guess this is the fairest course of action for our business partnership, huh? Just don't tell anyone, okay? Back when I covered politics for my publisher, I had a partner who helped with my photography, Kayo Murakami. We were a pretty well-known team in the industry. We blew the lids off countless scandals together. That is until that day came. We were on the trail of a certain bureaucrat who was involved in a slush fund to support refugees. He kept himself pretty well guarded so it was almost impossible to get any solid leads on the guy. Then one night, I got a voicemail from Kayo saying she had gotten a hold of something big. Well, that was the last I had ever heard from her. The next day, that bureaucrat was found dead at a love hotel, and Kayo had gone missing. Well... The cause of death is unknown. The authorities couldn't tell whether it was a murder or a suicide. As for the killer... Shit. The police accused Kayo. They said she killed him in a crime of passion. That's impossible though, she never would have slept with a disgusting man like that. And more importantly, it's pretty damn fucked up to make allegations like that without any evidence. Ichiko-chan. Sorry. The case was closed, but we never found the truth, and Kayo was labeled a professional disgrace. And since we were partners, the company decided it would be best to move me to another department. I'm gonna prove Kayo's innocence though. That's why I'm conducting my own private investigation now. Sounds like defamation, that's unforgive. Yeah, we'll go with that. You're damn right. But thanks to all the info you've been giving me, I should have more time to focus on my investigation. I won't let this opportunity slip through my fingers. Alright, we're even now. I didn't enjoy it though. Sure about that? It's been ages since you've since I've seen you smile this much. Eh, maybe you're right. I haven't felt this alive in a long time. <laughs> okay then, I'll write a great article to commemorate our sharing session. Exclusive, the Phantom Thieves' lofty ideals in connection with a secret society. Ah, just kidding, don't worry. I'll definitely come up with a better headline before we go to print. Thanks. I'm sure that'll help me out. 
I'm sure that'll just be fantastic. Right. I'm really just like hmm. not motivated by her story at all. Like it's kind of interesting, but at the same time, it's Oya. Oh yeah. There's just one thing that bothers me. There's no doubt the chief is is on to my investigation. <laughs> Maybe we could uh, or should keep acting like a couple so we can trick him. How's that sound? Oh, leave the kid alone. It's getting late. Shouldn't you be heading home by now? Her story was shit. Damn. Just flat out saying it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Just not really all that interested. For me digging up your records and such without asking, I mean... As long as I'm con... Yeah, I don't mind. Whatever. Yeah. Get a confidant point out of it. I didn't have the right persona in the first place. It was mostly just to do something for the night. Okay. No. Okay. I think now is the time to uh, make sure that we are ready to go with Hifumi's confidant. <laughs> As I actually don't know if we are. And then, um. to Mementos. Okay, so this, uh, this Mementos trip, what the fuck? Oh, Kasumi, that's right. So this Mementos trip is gonna be okay. uh, a very quick one. No grinding or anything, we're gonna go straight to wherever these boys be at here. that we need to deal with. And, uh, and then we're getting out. That's pretty much all this is gonna be. I can't believe you. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> okay. Listen up. Malicious producer in the showbiz world. Supposedly, he's been using the dreams of young women for his own personal profit. I bet countless women have succumbed to his plot. Huh. So there are other guys out there just like Kamashita. This is unforgivable. We need to change his heart at once. Very well. There are still few. There are still more. Listen up. This intel is on a man who is making a fortune teller suffer. He called himself the chairman of an organization, but he is nothing but a money-scamming fraud. Indeed. This must be regarding Chihaya Mifune, the fortune teller you had mentioned before. To think she had been dragged into such... Excuse me, such a dishonest cult. We cannot overlook this. What a despicable money monger. We shall bring his true nature to, to light and mementos. Nice. Okay, and... Listen up. The parents of Futaba's friend Kana. They forced Kana to take immoral jobs so they can pay off their debt. Ever since she was young, they've trampled over her life. I'm gonna crush them. I'll save Kana-chan. Nice. Okay. Nice. Yep. Three targets, a C, an A, and an A. Alrighty. Let's go exploring. Yes. Let us go. Again, no grind, no not nothing nothing crazy. We're just going in. Dealing with these boys, then getting out. 20 minute adventure, dude. Just 20 minutes. Or at least I hope. Okay, let's do this. No There's a slack. mosquito in here. I think that's a mosquito. Definitely not a moth. Ah, three three different areas. We we get some fucking searching around to do. Great. Fantastic. Alright, let's see here. Proceeding area. Alrighty. No, no grinding. No grinding, Jamie. I already told you. Like I said, 20 minute adventure, in and out. I ain't even going to touch a single persona that we don't have to deal with. And if I do, then I will, um... Uh, I will cut off my foreskin. How about that? That sound like a good deal? I hope I remember to cut this part out of the video. Probably be a good idea. Like that Rick and Morty episode they come back from- Yep, that's- that's exactly what I was, I've been referencing. Honestly, it's really funny. There's a lot of good scenes in Rick and Morty that, uh... Really make the show. But then the fandom ruins it. Chairman Fukurai's Shadow. It looks super shady. Well, he's selling useless rocks in those brainwashing seminars to his followers, right? If we let him go on like this, so many more people will end up unhappy. Oh, right. Yep, let's go get his ass. 
<laughs> you don't want sadness and tragedy in your life, do you? Pay me and I can save you. Give me your money or you'll suffer grave misfortune. You could even die. Yeah. You sure are naive. People really believe this holy stone will save them if the maiden predicts bad fortune. Even if it doesn't actually work, what does it matter if it makes them happy? People want to be deceived, don't you see? They're all desperate to feel safe. Bro, I hope I don't get butt fucked, man. I hope I don't. I hope I don't leave here crying. I hope that uh, that this really is just a fun little journey into mementos. I don't remember what this guy is weak to. Persona. Maybe it's wind? I don't think it is. It might be light. It's, okay, yeah. It's light. <laughs> I'm glad we were able to uh, figure that out quickly. God damn. Bro, this guy's... And ice. And ice. Bro, this guy... Deaded. He did not even get an opportunity. I lost. Maybe I'm naturally a loser. Just a dumb country bumpkin. I was going to join a vocational school when I first came to Tokyo, but I ended up getting scammed. I spent all that money on what I thought was tuition. I was all alone, hopeless in the city. The police just laughed. Those ads are obvious scams. You were dumb enough to fall for them? That's why I vowed to not let myself get tricked like that ever again. I won't be a victim anymore. If, I, if it ever happened again, I'd be the one doing this, the deceiving. I never really thought about it much. I guess when it comes right down to it, I really am just a dumb guy. The maiden's powers are real. That's why I brought her on. I'm the one- I'm the only one guilty of lying, and I took advantage of those two, or of the two of us happening to meet again. I've been wanting to apologize to her for a while. I'm so sorry, Chi-chan. Yeah, he didn't get a chance to buttfuck me. Alrighty, well that's one of our three. We can finish her confidant now. Hmm. Alright, back to the entrance. So we can uh, jump around here. I don't know where this guy be, so we'll go to rest area five. Let's see. Proceeding. Proceeding. Alrighty. Aw, oh, man. Looks like I'm losing my foreskin. The joke's on you. I've already lost it. I didn't get a say in that conversation. Ooh, we got two right here. I think these are Kanachan's parents. <sighs> yep. Why are there so many parents who try to control their children? Don't overthink it. Let's worry more about helping their daughter. We have to change their hearts if we want to save Futaba's friend. Mm. Let's go. I'll join. Why? Bad bets at the races, lo losses, debt, same thing over and over. Why are the two of us so unlucky? It's bad luck, we're poor all year round. Excuse me? We can't let Kana go to school. She needs to make money for us. Her sex appeal, her innocence as a young girl, whatever. She should sell it for us. I'm sure she's... I'm sure they've done some illegal things. Kana-chan's suffering so much because of you. It's too bad, but she needs to make us money. Kana needs to make money, otherwise our family will be broken up. I guess getting a real job would be a good one to yell at them. Uh, Michael keeps talking about his PP, but <laughs> he is gonna cut it out. <laughs> oh no. Now I can't cut it out of the video. <laughs> I don't know what these guys are weak to. I am thou. Well, never mind. I guess we'll just find out. Okay, well, I don't know what the other one's weak to. I really don't. But I will get a crit out of this. Or a technical sock. What the fuck? I guess we're just done. I, I guess we're just finished. That's it. That, that was it. 
Okay, well, no strategy there. I'm sorry. We had no other choice. We were in mountains of debt. We were truly horrible parents. I know, I have to change my ways. I won't make Kana do any, do that kind of work anymore. I'm sorry, Kana. We'll reorganize our debt. We'll be responsible for paying it back, not her. I'll quit gambling and I'll start working. I'll pay back all that debt bit by bit. You have to. Don't hurt Kanachan ever again. I started gambling to make some cash. Excuse me, before I knew it, I forced Kana to do some shameful things. To think. I used to be a father who only wanted his daughter to be able to eat nice things. You're right, dear. Before anything else, let's do our best to make Kana happy. Sick. Thank you, Joker. I think Kana-chan's gonna be alright now. The Magurio couple seems to have had a change of heart. Yeehaw. I hate it when people, you know... Like, even even if it's not like... Yeah. Like... What am, what am I trying to say here? People who utilize their kids in, in legal or illegal ways to get money or something. They abuse... Their, their child's life, I guess. Shit ain't right. Deeper inside. Okay. Then let us uh, jump over here to rest area 10, just in case. Deeper inside still. Okay. Oh. Oh. It's right here. Fantastic. Hmm. But that door won't open yet, right? He's a producer in the world of entertainment destroying the dreams of young girls, right? I can't jerk. let this go. I'm going, even if you try to stop... Well, no, okay. nobody's... Yeah, no, no one's gonna stop you. <laughs> the Phantom Thieves. Did you come to ask me to manage you? What? Yeah, right. Just what are you going to... Do? What are you doing to these girls? Oh, you're getting the wrong idea. I'm just allowing them to promote themselves. They don't understand that you have to pay a price to survive in this cutthroat industry. By the way, you guys seem like you're pretty popular. Why don't I be your producer? If I manage you, you could become household names in show business. Don't be stupid. We're the ones who'll be managing you. Don't get so full of yourselves, you amateur cosplayers. Fine, I'll make sure you're all blacklisted. Remember when Twitter went out of their way to say that they needed to get rid- Oh god. It's Mara. Remember when Twitter went out of their way saying that yeah, we gotta use different terms other than whitelist and blacklist? It's, I, am I, I don't know. I just don't know. I feel like this guy's gonna be a little stronger. Than, uh, than what we've dealt with so far in this little... Oh, okay. In this little grind of ours here in Mementos. Yeah, it's the Dick Chariot. It's Mara. Everybody loves Mara. I hope I don't die to this. Like, this is what, this is what will kill me, you know? Take this! Nice. Yeah, smiling, Shit, we gotta lower his attack. There we go. Tight. And it'll just go right back up. I guess it's better than him, you know, trying to attack us. Ooh, we can nuclear. Tight. I'm so used to fighting enemies not knowing their weaknesses. Or if they even have a weakness, so I kind of just, you know, try to do the buff debuff deal. Let's go. Hmm hmm hmm. Just in case. Does not hurt to do that. Let's go. Go down. Oh wait, I should have used nuclear. God damn, dude! Come on. That was unnecessary. Oh, 
There was no need to power yourself up like that. Alright, let's see if we can get a big old fucking attack in here. That works. Uh, okay. Let's see. I mean, do I don't know if we really need to do anything. We can try putting him to sleep or something. Ah, uh, he, he's going limp. Do I have something here that uh, forget? Nope. Okay, well, oh my god. That was more than a thousand damage. That worked out. Hey. This power. The wiener guy leveled us all up. I've awakened to a new power. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. That was cool. Uh, strengthens nuke skills by 50%. God damn. I mean, we have nuke boost. I don't, I don't know if we need her to have the healing abilities, so I'm just gonna have her nuke abilities just be ridiculously high level. I'm ashamed. Are you telling me the way I've been doing things? It's been wrong this whole time. Oh yeah, definitely. You've done whatever you wanted and caused a lot of damage. What do you plan to do about it? About it now? It'd be a dick that levels you up. For, I, I mean, we weren't, we weren't. Oh yeah, they were. Everybody was 69. We weren't. Because we got leveled up from Shido, and we were the only ones that got leveled up from Shido. I'll apologize to the girls who I manage. I'll do something to show them my sincerity. Hmm? Sincerity how? I apologize. I'll have to think about it, but I'll try to make up for all for all I've done wrong, no matter what. Hopefully he doesn't like show his wiener to like any of them or something and be like, I did wrong, so here's my wiener. Nope, still closed up. Damn it. Yep. Let's get the yuck on out of here. And that'll be it for that grind. <laughs> oh, oh, changed your mind? Yep, we are done. We we got all of our shit done here. But it'll be unlocked soon. No grind. I refuse to grind. Back. Honestly, we might have another opportunity to go to Mementos. I'm not gonna lie. Hey. What? There might be somebody else that we could just, you know, go and defeat for, you know, shits and giggles. I think we're done with all of Mishima's requests, though. That's that kind of seems like the last one to deal with. All right, let's go finish up this confidant. I think. Can we finish up this confidant? Good evening. Please tell me. Yes. Okay. Because I didn't check. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let's finish this up, and we will wrap up the session. I quit the <laughs> Ladies Professional Shogi Players Association. I need to start over as an amateur. Hmm. Yeah, you'll triumph in the end. That's my intention. There were a lot of people who covered for me by saying that I was just being used by adults. But I'm the one who was most at fault. I was overconfident. If only I had taken a look at myself and properly assessed my shogi skills, I believed that with my skills, I could overcome being treated like an idol. There's nothing I can say about my mother. You didn't abandon me. Even after you learned about the fixed matches, now I know how encouraging it feels to have someone believe in you. At first, this was just a deal. You help me develop new moves, and I give you shogi lessons. But before I knew it, you became... someone I couldn't do without. I'm not going to pay attention to all the criticism anymore. This time, I'll earn everyone's praise with my own skills. The reason I'm able to think this way is because you stuck by my side. I'm really grateful. Tight. I, I, her story was okay. I like her character. I don't know why I'm suddenly, you know, rating everybody's stories and characters. But here's the ability I was talking about. 
So now anybody can swap, which is like a solid thing. All right. Now she's she's definitely waifu material. Right. Definitely waifu material. Well then, on to our final lesson. I truly hope that you know that the Phantom Thieves find my lessons useful. God damn. Yes. I spoke to you about my mother, and then my mother changed. <laughs> I mean, my heart's already set on somebody else in this game. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. If there's anything I can do to help, please know that you can rely on me. I will support you in whatever you want to accomplish. Now let's play a match. I have a lot of new moves I'd like to test out. I hope you're okay to stay here a while longer. Not like I have anything else going on. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Tight. I wish she was a Phantom Thief. Like, they cut her, man. They cut her out. I can't wait for Cheeto's new administration. I'm sure our economy and market will improve. I went to listen in on Shido-san's speech. I was so moved. His words really resonated in me. I hope he keeps fighting and, and doesn't let that slander get to him. You mean that broadcast hijacking hoax? They only attack Shido-san because of how charismatic he is. <laughs> slander and a hoax, huh? They'll hear the truth soon from Shido himself. And then they'll learn the truth behind his charisma and how he is only interested in his own self-preservation. People are just tools to him. Father, I'm fighting against this injustice just like you did. So watch over me, okay? Aw, oh, that was sweet. That was, that was really sweet. Especially since we've already gone through her confidant. I feel like that was a lot more impactful. Futaba. You can hang out with her today. Okay. So we'll be wrapping it up here because my throat fucking hurts, dog. It really does. It's been hurting for a while. So we have three more rank ups that we can do with Futaba and two more to do with Haru. I think in these last 10 days, we can squeeze in five confidant scenarios. But obviously, they're not available every day, so I'm pretty sure we can, we can squeeze these in. Maybe hang out with Shinya to get some abilities from him. And whatever time we have left to dick around. Maybe we can fix up that laptop. We can make some shit. My throat is definitely hurting because of all the dick sucking. And we'll just do whatever else. Maybe uh, maybe look around for some like other activities and shit. Just to get in more of what you can do in the game on your free time. Because... We're definitely not going to max out every confidant. It's literally impossible with how much time we have left. And again, still not saying how much time we have left. Did Let's I do it? Did I save the game? I think I, I, I did not. Okay, it's a good thing that I uh, thought about saving the game there. But anyways, tune in next time. We will uh, maybe just do a fat session to get through everything in terms of these uh, last two confidants. I guess plus uh, Chihaya's. And, uh, and then we'll continue on with the plot. Thank you, Jamie, for sticking around. Thank you to anybody that watched. If you enjoyed these episodes, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.